In the very last experiment we're going to do for this acids and bases module, we're going to try and make a salt. Um, the salt I'm going to make is copper sulfate. Now that means that I'm going to have to have some source of copper atoms and we're going to use sulfuric acid. So I'm going to be using a base, copper oxide. Um, it's this black powder here. This black copper oxide will react with my sulfuric acid, which I have here. By reacting these two together, I'm hoping to create a, uh, a solution uh, of, of copper sulfate crystals. And then by evaporating off the water, um, we'll get some pure solid crystals of copper sulfate. Let's have a look at what that will look like. So here I've put the sulfuric acid into this boiling tube uh, and just kept it in a beaker. This will become important later. So what I'm going to do is just take uh, a heaped spatula of copper oxide and put it into the sulfuric acid. And we're going to do a few of these. I want to use quite a lot of copper oxide and this will become important later. You've got to put in too much because we really want to make sure that all of the acid has completely reacted by the end of this experiment. Now, I need to get this to react really fast. And the easiest way to do that in, in science is to heat it up. So I'm going to do this in a water bath. And I've got my kettle here that has just boiled. And we're going to pour that into the water bath to create a boiling hot water bath. Now, all that's left is to give this a bit of a stir and we'll leave it for about 10 minutes and come back to it and see what's happened. So you can see already that it's reacting really, really nicely. And I'm getting this quite brilliant blue color coming out. I'm just trying to stir it quite a lot to get that really nice dark blue color to come throughout the whole of the solution. Right, well, you can see we've got a really nice concentrated solution here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it through a, uh, a conical flask with a funnel in, and this is a filter paper. Now, filter paper will separate anything that's solid. So all this black stuff in the bottom, that will just stay on top of here, and I can collect the nice blue filtrate that I want to use for my experiment. So let's go and do that now. Um, let's just take this out, and I just want to carefully pour this in here. There we go. And we will let that drip through my funnel. Oh, it's cooling down quite a lot. We might need a little bit more water on this to, to, to get it to come through. But you can see that this, this filtrate, the bright blue filtrate there, that is my copper sulfate solution. You can see here that it's filtering through really nicely and it's nearly at the end. Um, we've got a lovely little amount of, uh, of a solution at the bottom and this would be really nice for us to evaporate. Right, lastly, we're going to use the power of the sun to evaporate my solution. So I'm gonna take my hot sample of my liquid here and I'm gonna pour it onto this watch glass. Now, what will happen is that when this water evaporates, then we'll be left behind with some really, really nice copper sulfate crystals. Um, so I'm gonna come, I'm gonna leave this over the weekend and hopefully when I come back, we'll see a really nice sample of copper sulfate. Okay, I have come back over the weekend and you can see here that my dry crystals of copper sulfate have all now been created. You can see they've made a really, really nice shape and they're really bright blue and very, very sparkly.